okay let's continue our health education part two so in this uh, video i'll be explaining about educational aids and the methods of health education difference between health education and propaganda so what are the aids used in health education the first one is auditory aids and the next one is visual aids and the combination of audio visual aids okay so auditory aids uh, this uh, topic is very old because this uh, content is taken from old textbooks that's why this megaphones microphones gramophones are all here it has not updated in recent times so anyway auditory aids we know we can only listen to uh, radios fm stations and such things tape recorders radios and sound amplifiers are mentioned under audio or trades visual aids we know it is mainly projector and non projector aids based on the projection we have uh, projector aids like uh, film cinemas film strips slides projectors bioscopes video cassettes such things are projector non projector advantages like real life situation can be enacted self explanatory create special interest rather than the auditory aids non projected aids are like which do not require any projection so you can do on blackboard pictures like cartoons photographs flip charts flashcards flannel boards and printed materials or leaflets pamphlets models specimens all can be uh, used so combination of audio visual aids sound and sight can be combined like televisions tape and slide combinations video cassette players motion pictures cinemas and all the multimedia computers and the recent uh, social medias and the folk dances folk songs all these are very old techniques because this content is taken from a textbook which is available so the same content is still we are studying this is not updated anyway let's see uh, the difference between auditory visual aids and combination so these are the uh, aids used for health education so what are the methods of health education so we have basically three methods that is individual group and mass approach so in group approach we have chalk and talk symposium group discussion panel discussion workshop conferences or seminars role playing or social drama and demonstration so let's see what is individual approach it is a one to one just like in a dental clinic or health center we are educating a person about his health and his illness prevention beneficial diets or anything this approach can be used by public health personnel and it is very helpful and it is motivating it is like counseling so it can be a uh, discussion argument and persuasion can be done and we can change the behavior of people but the main disadvantage is very small number can be in benefit because we cannot give the same attention to many group of people and it is time consuming so one by one we can do but it is not uh, approachable for many people so it is uh, the reach of this one to one interaction is very limited whereas in group approach it is uh, better than the individual approach the first one is chalk and talk lectures this is what we uh, learn from our schools and colleges it should be uh, a carefully prepared oral presentation of facts organized thoughts and ideas by a qualified person okay so what are the basic requirements it should not be more than 30 people the audience there should be opening statement should be between 15 to 20 minutes we know our all lectures are around one hour so after 20 minutes our interest will go off automatically so usually it should be between 15 to 20 minutes should be based on the topic of current interest and its effectiveness depends upon the ability of speaker to write and draw legibly if he's good at writing and drawing the audience will be in interest disadvantages it is one-way communication and learning is passive so symposium it is just like series of speeches on a selected topic each speaker present a brief aspect of it that broad topic there is no discussion this is a important point there is no discussion between the speakers in the end a audience may ask questions and the chairman makes a summary at the end of session so this is symposium they don't discuss between each other each one person comes here and um, express his views 
at the end of the session audience can ask questions group discussion is just like uh, sitting uh, face to face in a semicircle or a circular table around 6 to 12 members max so face to face situation participants should be seated in a circle group leaders initiate the subjects prevent side conversations and encourages everyone to participate and sum up the discussion so it's just like this uh, all are uh, face to face but the problem is uh, if somebody is shy and somebody is having uh, less communication skill uh, he will lose uh, interest and he will not get the benefit of it panel discussion is like four to eight speakers just like this there will be discussion between the panels the panelists are discussing not like symposium symposium there is no discussion between the panelists so here the four to eight experts sit and discuss a topic in front of audience there will be a chairman or a moderator who opens the session and introduces speakers and keeps the discussion going audience are allowed to ask questions and chairman finally sums up the different views so this is panel discussion and symposium are confusing the thing is panel discussion where the panelists are discussing each other which is not in symposium workshop it is a series of meetings with emphasis on individual work with the help of resource person so total workshop will be divided into small groups and each group will select a chairman and a recorder and finally it will be summed up so a big problem can be part by part uh, taken up by each group out of this big group then finally it can be summed up to solve the big problem so here many groups are divided just like this individual individual group uh, and a, each part of one problem is solving and ultimately at the end of this uh, workshop the total problem will be solved so conferences or seminars just like a half day or one week uh, duration can be held regional state or national level and usually it will be having a theme for each conferences so role playing or social drama it's like old technique where the puppet show size should be less than 25 and situation is dramatized to make communication more effective so puppet show is also social drama right now we have this uh, flash mob uh, type uh, which is a updated version of this role playing so flash mob is just like a social drama demonstration is like a demonstrating a procedure step by step in front of audience just like how we apply fluoride uh, gel on a particular kit so step by step we need to explain the methods in front of audience so that is demonstration mass approach so we are covered individual and group approach Next is a mass approach. The communication should be reaching to uh, millions and lakhs. So advantages is large number of people can be reached. All socioeconomic status have access. But the problem is it is always one way communication just like a message becoming viral, a video becoming viral nowadays uh, in social media. The problem is it is always one way communication. Various medias are television, radio, newspapers, posters, magazines internet so the last part is difference between health education and propaganda propaganda is what just remember that propaganda is done by hitler and all the uh, all the leaders who are leading a authoritarian style authoritarian style uh, which they are very undemocratic they are built their um, kingdom by upon lies and lies they try to convince the people lie after lie so that is propaganda now let's see what is health education this is just a comparison for you to remember so knowledge and skills are active acquired because there will be active thinking we are telling out the fact we need to brush twice then plaque will be removed there will not be any caries propaganda is just like we are injecting that particular knowledge into the mind of people they are not thinking about it so health education develops a reflective behavior trains people to use judgment before acting so develops reflexive behavior they will be very impulsive they act based on their emotion uh, without any reasoning so appeals to reason and appeals to emotion 
In health education, it develops individuality, personality, and self-expression, but it will create a particular pattern of attitudes and behavior according to how we are propagating it. So they won't think, they won't have that logical reasoning, that particular problem. So they just accept whatever the leader says. So knowledge acquired through self-reliant activity knowledge is spoon fed. Because here people think what is the uh, reason for the person asking us to brush wisely. Because plaque is there, plaque can harbor bacteria. So plaque can cause, uh, bacteria can cause dental caries. But here they are saying just brush twice, okay, they just accept, brush twice, you will be healthy. They won't think why they are saying brushing twice is healthy. So it is just spoon fed, the process is behavior centered, aims at developing favorable attitudes, it is information centered, no change of attitude or behavior. So health education is always uh, based on the facts and it is based on the logical reasoning. It is always based on the emotion and there is no logical reasoning, it is spoon fed. So that is the difference between health education and propaganda, it is one of the short note, uh, it is frequently asked. So that's all about health education. So we have covered uh, health education under various heading, part 1 and part 2. Part 1 we have covered the definition, the approaches, the approaches are administrative approach, legal approach, service approach, health education approach and public uh, primary health care approach. Then we had uh, principles of health education later, communications, types of communications and barriers. In the second part we have seen uh, the methods of health education that is individual group level and mass level and the communication aids that is audio visual auditory and visual aids. In group approach, we have uh, chalk and talk, symposium, seminars, conferences, panel discussion, uh, workshops, group discussion. The confusing part was uh, group discussion, uh, this panel discussion and symposium. Symposium, there is no, uh, the series of speeches, there is no discussion between the speakers. But in panel discussion, there is a discussion between the panelists. Okay, that's all about health education. So I'll come up with a new session on dentistry and more. Thank you.